Alright guys, today I wanted to make a video about Amadou Iranana because he's a player who, since he's coming at Everton, has um, helped change the results of the team and the performances uh, hugely and has just come off the back of a very good season individually at Lille, whilst it may have been a drop-off from their title win uh, the season before, he still played very well. And um, I, I think he's a player who, if Everton are managing to keep hold of him for the next few years, he is someone who you can build a midfield around, because he does have a, a good level of technical ability, very good on the ball, very good at dribbling, and he also has this Patrick Vieira-like uh, ability to nick the ball off uh, attacking midfielders who are running forward with the ball he just has these incredibly long legs which he can just sort of like angle around the, the attacker's legs and just hook the ball back or just knock it away from them um so yeah that that, that is you know something that Everton haven't really had in midfield for a while they tried to have it with Allen and uh, Abdullah Decore but it sort of didn't really uh Hit the levels needed neither of the players to die. I don't think Decore wasn't too bad, but Allen, um, bar a few few good games under Carlo Ancelotti, it, it wasn't a great time for him at Everton. But yeah, Onana, he, he really has stood out to me in Everton's team. He is just like superb winning the ball back. That that's one hundred percent his best ability, and. The one thing that did stand out to me is um, when I watched his debut against Aston Villa, uh, I think Villa won 2 1. He came on, I think it, it was, might have been 1 0 Villa at the time. Uh, he made an error, which I mean, a lot of players do on their Premier League debut. It's a completely different league to League Gun. But he, after Villa did make it 2 0, he picked up the ball, ran like past quite a few Villa players hooked it back across goal and forced an error from Lucas Dinia to score an own goal. So he, he has got um, an ability as well to just uh, completely turn it on when, when he, whenever he needs to. Also, he has made his debut for the Belgium national team this year, which is um, an achievement because Belgium, despite what everyone uh, thinks of them, uh, always been sort of an overrated football team, in my opinion. They are still... <laughs> a very good group of individual players. Like you've got the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, Eden Hazard, Romelu Lukaku, Yannick Carrasco, like loads, loads of really good footballers. Um, so to be part of that is is very much an achievement. Um, and yeah, I I think if Everton, if he if he can stay fit for this entire season, he can definitely help Everton to climb up the league table and. Who knows, potentially, with the way their form is at the moment, get a top half finish because they're now unbeaten in six, uh, winning a bit. The problem is they have only won two of those games, but he, he is a really good player. And I, I think he's exactly what Man United fans probably wanted Paul Pogba to be like. Um, OK, you could definitely make a case that Paul Pogba has the better, like, ability like uh, I keep saying ability he has the better technique in when it comes to shooting and passing maybe but what Pogba never had is that uh, drive to win the ball back which Anana 100% has um, so yeah I, I feel as though Amadou Anana the sky is very much the limit he's still only I think 21 years of age which I mean is really young um, and He's definitely shown why this far uh, Everton did decide to pay £33 million for him to buy him from Lille in the summer. And as well, Everton are a team that have been uh, hit by injuries largely, so he is going to get players coming back to play around him as well. So it's not looking too bad for Everton at the moment. It's been a terrible 12 months, but... Um, they, they have made some good signings this summer and Amadou Onana is 100% one of them and at the moment I can only really see it getting better for, for Everton from how it was last season because they are playing very well at the moment. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.